What's up, sneaker culture fam? It's your boy with the name, like, and subscribe. Don't sell reps is retail. I embrace sneakerheads from all walks of life. So give me a follow on Instagram and Reddit. Today, a tutorial on how to brush your suede. The easy way. You may have purchased a pair of sneakers. They may be suede. And when you open up the box, the suede is pretty dead. Not to worry. If the suede is good quality suede, it should liven up pretty quick. That happened to me recently with these two pairs of shoes. So I purposely did not brush them so that I could do it on camera to show you how easy it is. When you use an electric shoe polisher like this, this specific one is made by a company called Sunset. It's a shoe polish kit. You get accessories for shining shoes, but essentially all you really need is the nylon brushes. The only difference between these nylon brushes for our purposes here is nothing. When you're polishing shoes, if you're polishing a darker shoe, you wanna use a darker nylon brush. And if you're polishing a lighter shoe, you wanna use a lighter nylon brush. So this is a USB charged shoe polisher. It's very simple to use. You just turn it on and it starts spinning. This circular motion, if you're using a manual suede brush, that's essentially what you should be doing to liven up the suede, is constantly going the same direction. On a big shoe, it could be time consuming. This is pretty quick. So I will show you how easy it is to remove the nylon head and put a new one on. There's the white one. There's the dark one. Comes with a bag. The USB port is right in the back. Just a little switch, on off, very easy to use. So I'll start with these Travis Scott Lowe's. Now, one thing you wanna make sure you do is put some kind of insert in there. If you're not using an insert, or if you've got rid of your inserts, or if the inserts are just tissue paper, that's not gonna, that's not gonna cut it. Use some shoe trees. A link to this brush will be in the description. A link to a good set of shoe trees will be in the description as well. Now these are so new, I actually have the Jordan inserts in them already, so I'm just gonna leave those in there. Good enough, you just need it to firm up just a little bit, so we're good. Okay, so here's your demonstration here. The suede is not bad, right out of the box, but it's a little bit dead, a little bit. This is good quality suede, so it's gonna come up in no time. I'm gonna do this section right here. Well, actually, that's a little bit alive. I wanna do something a little bit more dead to show you. This, that's pretty dead. That's kind of dead too. So you see this here? It's kind of dead. I'm gonna count to 15. I'm just gonna apply this onto that spot, count to 15, and then we'll see how much this brush livens it up in 15 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Much more alive now in very little time. It became much more alive. The seal cup, pretty dead. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. No time. All right, I'm gonna do the whole shoe in a quick time here. You guys will see that the use of mink oil will be recommended a lot of times. Now I've used this before. And if the quality of the suede isn't that great to begin with, sure, spray this on there, wait five minutes, then brush. My reservations about mink oil, it does darken the suede and also it can stain. So I would only use this as a last resort. Try brushing first and then if it doesn't work, then use some mink oil. A link to mink oil will also be in the description, but use cautiously. Oh, it's beautiful. If you could pick that up. Look at that. 
Ah, oh, it's like butter. It's like butter. The heel tab and the heel cup are like butter right now. They're beautiful. And they were dead before. This saves you a lot of headaches very fast. Okay, there's the low. Here's the high I have not brushed yet. One more demonstration. Here's the high, has not been brushed yet. I'm gonna count to 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You guys can see I just focused on this side of the guy's face. This guy, this side of uh, fucking Cactus Jack's face. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Looks great. No time at all. In conclusion, I did not use mink oil on these. And here is a comparison. This one is not brushed. And this one is brushed. So alive in no time. Again, not brushed, brushed. Not brushed, brushed. Oh man, beautiful. Look at this. I wanna make it go, I wanna make it look like that. Like that. No, you know what? I want to make it look like that. <laughs> ah, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So as you can see, it's very simple when you use something like this. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one.